Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, so I thought I'd just talk about this Mini here uh, that's been in with me. Um, so Custom came in. Uh, this Mini has had a 17% reduction on the supercharger uh, pulley. 636 uh, injectors, uh, decap. Um, when it came in, it wasn't running right at all. Uh, I wanted to cut out on idle, it was running really lumpy. Um, the ABS light was on, engine management light was on. On the test drive, when you take it up the road, it kick into EML and go into the safety map. Um, so yeah, it was a bit of a head scratchy this one. So after scanning it, I found out that the uh, barometric reading uh, between the throttle body and the map centers was way off. Um, so initially I thought this was because of a vac leak on the car. So it's a common problem on these actually. Um, when people rip the airbox out, there's a little uh, push connector, push pipe goes into the intake manifold and uh, that had been ripped out. Um, but obviously it'd been run for some time without that. So it burnt out the map sensor. Now these have two map sensors. They have a T-map on the intake uh, and a map sensor just left of the air intake. Uh, so changed them both. The, um, I've mapped in the, the new supercharger, the new injectors. Um, and yeah, it's running sweet now, so the customer's going to be happy. All these lights are off on the dash. Uh, but yes, yeah, a real fun, I mean this thing is a little rocket, absolutely little rocket now. Uh, and as I'll show you in a bit, it likes the flame much too. Yeah, there he's tuning. So the problem with this Mini, it's quite a common fault actually. So we've got a map sensor here. Underneath you've got a vac line, vac line sorry, that goes right down under uh, the supercharger bypass valve and goes into the actual intake uh, underneath the throttle body. Now, when people remove the stock air boxes, they usually rip it off without um, disconnecting that. So that had come out, which was causing our vac leak. And that was just skewing the uh, barometric pressure that the map sensors were reading. Because it's probably been like that for a while, it probably burnt out uh, both map sensors. Um, so those have been replaced. Uh, what I noticed as well, on the actual throttle body, someone had obviously lost the bolt for the throttle body and just put a, an Allen key bolt in, but it wasn't actually sitting tight against the intake, uh, which had caused uh, another vac leak. So... I uh, replaced the bolt so it's all sitting nice and tight and then I replaced the T-map sensor uh, which measures the temperature in the intake and I replaced the actual map sensor now um, so all the lights are off traction controls working ABS is working but yeah bit of a headache this one but anyway I'm sure the customer is going to be happy I've just took it for a test drive and it's running really nice uh, it's like a little rocket this so yeah if you've got that problem, if you've got the fault code, I think it's 107 and 1688, it's most likely the T-map sensor or your map sensor. Um, because when you run with a vac leak, um, or even if you run with a stock intercooler and you've uprated the pulley or whatnot, you will burn the map sensors out. So they've been replaced and all is working well. So yeah, so job's all done. Uh, I'm just going to take it for a test drive now. Uh, as you can see, I've had to pad this back seat it's got fixed uh, bucket seat in and i think the owner's uh quite a lanky guy because um i could not 
I mean, it was literally like this, sat in the seat. So anyway, get comfy. Now this thing pops and bangs like nothing else. So I'm just going to do a short test drive and then um, make sure it's working all as it should be. Turn the traction control off. It's proper like racing experience this car. Really hunkered and low down to the ground. Let's get these windows down so you can hear, hear this pop. Hear these pops and bangs. I mean, listen to it. Change. Let's get some flames. 